and welcome into an Indie Delight, a series that focuses on looking at free indie games. And I thank you for joining me here today as we look at Jorbite's Apothekitty, the second cat-based pun title that we have for you in these videos. <laughs> Again, I love a really good pun. And I was looking through a bunch of games that were cat-related. And it looks like in this game, you can cure different cats' ailments using different potions that you brew. So you and me, let's get started. Cat Pernicus, pardon me. <laughs> it's a pink cat named Cat Pernicus. What more could you ask for? I've had a lot of trouble sleeping lately. Do you have anything for Cat Somnia? Uh, we can try. Let's see. Cat Somnium. So Cat Pox Cream eases Cat Pox symptoms and other itchy skin ailments. Uh, we have Personality. <laughs> Gotta love the puns already. This potion makes you temporarily humble, kind, and cheerful. Hairball syrup, good for getting rid of hairballs or other sources of throat blockage. So this one is cat's eye remedy. This is good for ailments of the eye like dry eye, cat juntivitis, and cat tarax. <laughs> night's milk, perfect for when you need a good night's sleep. Nice. So night's milk is perfect for when you need a good night's sleep. Tonic of comfort, like warm, like a warm hug, everything will be okay. Elixir of the Lion. Ooh, does it make you like a uh, courageous like a lion? Im imbues the drinker with the courageous spirit of the lion like the Wizard of Oz. Energizing elixir gives you wings. Red Bull. Red Bull. Ooh, cat with wings. Eases illness that hurt the tummy. Hmm. And a potent catnip. Yeah, that's the stuff. Hmm. For those adventurous ones. Okay, so what was your prompt again? Trouble sleeping lately. You could use some night milk. I do, cat somnia. So this is for when you need a good night's sleep. So it seems to be it's in that green drop, like purple leaves and a mushroom. Okay, we could do that. So it is the green drop. I believe it's the purple leaves and a mushroom. Let's brew the potion. We can help you sleep, Cat Pernicus. Created night's milk potion. All right, here you go. This should do nicely. Thank you. You are welcome. Reminds me kind of of that traveling shop in um, Cuphead, where the guy, where the, I think it was like the pig, he sells you like all these power-ups and everything. It reminds me of that, but like a zoomed in version of it. I wonder, I wonder if our character is like a potion maker or if it's like a witch or if it's like a mage that knows how to use potions and is trying to at least sell potions to cats. <coughs> Sir Isaac Mutant. I had some bad salmon. My tummy hurts. I think I've got Salmonilla. <laughs> I think I just read through all the po the potions. So I think it's Pepto Bispaw. And <laughs> we gotta make you one, which is the fish. Oh, okay. And the fireball. So the fish and the fireball. Let's brew the potion for you. At least now we know what he's looking for, right? Here you go. Enjoy that. That's much better. Thank you. Next customer, please. Uh, I need catnip. Ooh, okay, I think we know how to make that, but just in case, we, <laughs> why do you need catnip, though? He just came up to me very matter-of-fact. He's like, I need catnip. He's like, I need it now. <laughs> so here you go. Here, have your catnip, Leo. Do you like a lion? Are you pretending to be a lion? Are you doing nefarious things, or are you doing naughty things? All right, here's your catnip. <coughs> Bring it on. Hey, I've got a problem. Abitail. I have a speech today and I'm really scared. Do you have anything to help me be brave? Uh, so a speech, energizing elixir. Oh, the courageous one, right? It's like the elixir of the lion. Okay, so it imbues a drinker. We need the fire, rice looking thing and blue seeds. Okay, so we have this, uh, I need unicorn, unicorn's blood, phoenix ashes and crystal seeds. Unicorn blood? Where do you get unicorn's blood? We must be like a, a magical cat. Here you go, Abitail. Cathew. 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 Do you need catnip? So itchy. I have cat box. Ah, <gasps> cat box elixir, which is the blue seeds. <laughs> oh no. Bones and the purple leaf. So blue seeds, the bone, crystal seeds, okay, fish bone. And I think it was the purple leaves, if I'm correct. Yes. What are you again? Your opulent shroom. Here you go. The itch is gone. Wow. Toodles. 
Toodle toot toot. I need catnip. Leo again? Back for more catnip. Okay, I'll make him catnip. You're, you, you have a, you may have a, a slight uh, thing that you need to, to, to confront about, but okay, I'll give you the catnip. I'll give, you, I'll give it to you. Oh, he left the mother. He left. Watch this, baby. <laughs> Uh, cat Pernicus needs, pardon me. You have a lot of trouble sleeping. Do you have anything for cat somnia? I think I do, which is night's milk, which is the shroom and two mushrooms. Okay, so we have opulent shrooms. What is this again? Uh, phantom secretion. Where did you get phantom secretion? I don't want to know, but you do you. Here, I'll brew the potion for you. You have it. Good night. Good luck. Whatever you're doing with the phantom secretion. And also, where do we get our items? We have like a dealer. She do nicely, thank you. You're welcome, toodles to you. Pod me, Cat Sandra. I have a really clawful hairball. Can you help me out? Sure. Uh, I think that is the hairball syrup. And that is the twig, the mushroom, and I believe... Whatever that leaf thing is. Is it the mushroom? I'm just, I'm just double checking. I'm just double checking. Hairball syrup. One hairball syrup for Cat Sandra coming right up. <laughs> wow, that's much better. This town's fortunate to have you. Oh. <coughs> fortunate to have you too as a customer. I have had some bad salmon. My tummy hurts. I think I've got salmonella. So that one is Pepto Bizpaw. And that's going to be you and Unicorn's Blood. Now, what fish and Unicorn's Blood have to do to get that tummy? stomach ache out i have no idea but here we go it's much better thank you you're welcome sir isaac mutant i wonder if leo's gonna come in today for his catnip i'm so itchy i have cat pox so it's the seeds the bone and the opulent shroom i wonder if we have to do it in exact order or do you need to basically just make it however you want the itch is gone wow doodles all right, Leo, come on for your third dose. Fernado. <laughs> I've got a sc I, I'm getting scared he can't. I'm scared of everything. Ah, uh, so do you need some courage, which is the elixir of the lion, the unicorn's blood, the phoenix ash, and the crystal, and the crystal skull, Indiana Jones, and the crystal catnip. Like a bag of catnip. I've seen my friend, uh, my friend's cat on catnip, and it's a really interesting change because they go. And they just go paw at everything. It was really interesting experience to see. Possum, I'm ready to make anything. Thanks. <coughs> Kathy, Kathy, what do you need? Itchy, Kathy, I feel like I keep curing you of your cat pox. I have no idea how, but it seems like you're always here for cat pox elixir. You know? Wait, you're just gonna leave Kathy like that? How dare you? How dare you? Good game. Let's see. I want to see how many times Leo comes in here. Abitail, I've got a problem. Yeah, Abitail, I have a speech today. Another speech? How many speeches do you do? Imagine one of our customers is like a like a person who speaks like a motivational speaker, and they come in and like, I'm, I'm really scared, but I need that potion. <laughs> do you think I'm brave to help? Yes, I do. Elixir of the Lion, which is this, this. Eventually, I'll come down to know what your potions are or eventually you'll come in and i'll be like okay do you need like catnip do you need a potion of the elixir this is perfect thank you toodles i had some bad salmon oh sir isaac newton i wonder what you eat in terms of getting bad salmon like where do you get your salmon maybe go to a different restaurant or go to a different place that's not selling you spoiled salmon <laughs> Or maybe lay up on the salmon. Pardon me, Cat Panicus. I've I had a little trouble sleeping lately. Yes, I know, I know. You're the night's milk. I just need to reference you every now and then. I'm not gonna put it in order. Let's be rebellious here and just like not put it in order. How about that game? Are you gonna let me do it? Uh -huh. I think any combination of it doesn't have to be exactly in order. My brain was like, it has to be in order. Sometimes it gets very specific though, like in those um, cooking games where you have to like make all the dishes at once and it's like, this should do nicely. Thank you. You're welcome. So we'll do a couple more days. Of Ooh, Katrina, Katrina, I have not seen you here. Lately, I've been a sourpuss. They tell me I got a bad catitude. 
I'm gonna think they can prove my personality. I got just the thing. What about a personality elixir for your personality? So this one is I haven't made yet. Uh, it is the leaves, the bones, and the phoenix. So what are you? Age catnip and phoenix ashes. I mean, uh, what is it? It's the famous quote from that 70s show. So what did you have this morning? Carnation instant bitch. Except this time it's more carnation fee instant kind. <laughs> I feel so kind. Maybe you should work on yourself like a little bit, Katrina. Thank you. <coughs> Kathy, Kathy, what do you have? What do you got? Huh? Huh? So itchy again? What do you keep rubbing on? Is it like, is it, is it like, like poison ivy maybe they're rubbing on? Maybe you should stop. Like you should take Sir Isaac Newton's advice. You should, you should go along with Sir Isaac Newton and not eat the salmon or not go to where this, uh, Itchy places. The itch is gone. Wow. And please stop going to get itches. <laughs> for now, I got scaredy cat. I'm scared of everything. I think I know what you need. It's elixir of the lion. Can we make it for you real quick? Or are we going to run out of time? I think we're going to run out of time. Yeah. We're going to run out of time. I'm just going to include everything. Cauldron is full. Try brewing your potion. I mean, we could just have it. I feel like one of them is going to... Cat Leo hasn't been around in a while. Ever since he didn't get his last dosage, I think... I think mayhap something happened to him. But uh, Elixir of the Lion, one of y'all is going to get a tummy ache. Sir Isaac Newton, I can see you from a mile away coming. We have Cat Pox. Uh, I think that's Cathew. He's going to get that. So let's just give you... Let's just make the things that our, our customers are going to come in with. I feel like we just be better prepared. Cats remedy we haven't done yet. Tonic of comfort. Energizing elixir. I haven't done those yet, but I've done night's milk. And night's milk is a good one to have because I feel like someone's going to be like, I need sleep. Um, and yeah, let me let me make you phantom secretion, which is you. Yeah, there is a potion that is like that you and this unless i put something else all right bring him in pardon me all right copernicus i've done a lot of trouble sleeping lately what do you know i just brewed you a knight's potion see cat pernicus i know these are this is becoming a job for me where if you ever worked in like service or like a retail or customer service wise there comes a point where you start seeing the same amount of people come in all the time and you're like yep i know what you're going for i know what you're doing Okay, you've been in a lot of trouble sleeping lately. Do you have anything else for cat somnia? Cat somnia? Didn't I just cure you? I just literally gave you night's milk. What are you what are you still doing here? Okay. Oh, he just left. He just repeated. Cat Sandra, pardon me. Yes. I have a clawful hairball. Hairball doesn't come in too often. Okay, well we'll brew you your hairball syrup. I was I was throwing left field for there. Uh uh, but now we have a knight's milk come in, right? At least they're also color colored. What do you mean? It is a stick. Oh, it's the stick. I'm being a dumbass. Okay, a stick, mushroom, and the ghost fur. Whatever that ghost, ghost grass. Go touch some ghost grass. <laughs> okay, here is your uh, hairball syrup. Wow, that's much better. This town, this town is fortunate to have you. <laughs> All right, Kathy, what do you have? Ooh, itchy. I think I just prepared one of those things for you, right? Cat pox cream. Uh, it's itch is gone now. Toodles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, Leo. My favorite customer. Catnip. It is. Just take the catnip. This is your third dose. Technically, if I give you the last one, it's your fourth dose. But who's counting? This is perfect. Thank you, Toodles. Thank you, Toodles. Ah, uh, Leo, you're a different Leo. I'm feeling very down in the dumps lately. Oh, wait, I want to make sure to get you. Uh, do you have anything for D, D Persian? Uh, I think it is... Uh, everything will be okay. Okay, Ton Tonic of Comfort. It's you, the mushroom, and the fish. You're a new one. Thank you for coming in. I hope I don't screw this up. Is the only one that sounds like what could ail you. Uh, tonic of comfort. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, 
Cat Pernicus, yes. I have a little trouble sleeping, I think. Here you go, Cat Pernicus. I think I've seen you twice today. You may also have a sleeping problem. Or if my potion didn't work, why didn't it work? Katrina, one second, Katrina. I'll be right with you, but I know what you need, and I made it for you. So, Katrina, the color is yellow. So, here you go. Oh, that wasn't right. I'm out of here. <gasps> no, I'm sorry. We, we, we disappointed Katrina. Oh, okay. Ichi, uh, that's you. Ichi's gone now. Bye, toodles. Yes, I'm trying to see what the record customers is. Cat Sandra, I have a really clawful hairball. I think I just made you, right? It's the blue one. Here you go. Have a nice day. Do you do you? I've got a problem. Uh, I think Elixir of the Lion is for you. Toodles. Cat Sandra again? Okay. Claw hairball problem. It's okay, we got this. We know what how to make it now. Right. And this one is gonna be made to order potions, so it's much better. This house is more fortunate to have you. Leo, I'm feeling very down in the dumps. I knew you were gonna come in, so this is for you. No, wait, I don't have one for you. <gasps> okay. So we'll just make one as a just in case. It's you and the fish. It's a tonic of comfort. But oh, Leo. I'm feeling very down in the dumps lately. Oh no. <coughs> Sir Isaac Mutant, welcome back. I had a feeling you were coming in, but here you go. <coughs> I need catnip. Leo, the other. I think this is for you. Toodles to you too, my guy. Toodles <coughs> to you too. Oh, you again? You really need to lay off the salmon, man. You really need to lay off the salmon. All right, take this. That's much better, thank you. Okay, so one of you needs a sleep potion, I know it. I got a real scaredy cat. Okay, so you are you, and you are you, and also you are this. It looks like the lion. We already got you, Fernando. Fernando. We already got you, Fernando. Fernando. Here you go, take that. Okay, bye. Take care. Catnip Leo again for a second time. I'm going to have to start charging premium catnip prices for these. <laughs> All right. Here you go. This is perfect. Thank you, Toodles. Pardon me? A lot of trouble sleeping lately. I think this is for you. All of our potions are gone. That is fantastic. Catnip Leo, you mother catter. Uh, here. Take it, just take it. <gasps> you ding dong ditch me. How dare you. So with this particular game, I really enjoyed the fact that there are a numerous cast and crew of cats that you can, you know, help heal and have ailments that you can have. I like the fact that there is a tome right here that tells us all about the different types of potions that we have. It'd also be interesting to see like the uh, like a visual novel style of branching paths or branching options of choices where we can learn certain things from people, get to know them, build their community relationships with them. I would also like to see where the, the ingredients come from. Like there's like a mini game that you harvest like the, you know, dried aged catnip or you uh, harvest all these things. It'd be really cool or someone sells you something. And so I do hope the developer continues in regards to building upon this idea that they have. It's a very cute concept, making potions. Um, and I would like to see more and see ya.